I found one. The body's uncontested need to devour an explanation. This poem is really, I wanted to write a poem about the natural world. And any time I try to write a poem about anything, I, I sit down and try and write, nothing happens. So it's always a pleasant surprise when something comes and you're like, oh, this is that. And it was a curious, like, so I read about, I cannot remember the Japanese word, but forest bathing, there's a word for it. And my mind did this kind of mental exercise of going into the forest and then suddenly sniffing spores <laughs> and sniffing moss. And then I was thinking, oh, what if this is a, like a, an actual kingdom and there's someone down there, <laughs> like some little people looking up at my nose sniffing. And so the whimsy of that was like, okay, follow that through. The body's uncontested need to devour an explanation. I am bathing again, burying my face into the great nations of moss. I am leaning in, smelling the emerald mountains and the little inhabitants crossing over rock-like boulders and tree trunks emptied bit by bit. My nose must come to them like a probing spaceship causing a mighty eclipse. They speak in whispers, but do not shriek when gazing into the dim landing bays of my cavernous thoughts. I am grazing like a Dionysian. I come not with religion. I come yearning for first spring and a thirst for spores pooling like mercenaries in the dark. The little gods of the forest live here. I want to ingest their verdant settlements until they carpet my cavities and convert my raptorial self into its own ecosystem, off into the green. So when I wrote that first line, I am bathing again, and I listened to it, I am bathing again, burying my face into the great nations of moss. When I repeat I am again, it's almost like I'm cranking. I am leaning in, smelling the emerald mountains and the little inhabitants crossing over rock-like boulders. Sentences, along with repetition, sentences are a way for me to create music, but also to kind of help follow through on, on syntactic meaning. I'm also trying to be imagistic. I want a reader to as much hear, as much see as they hear um, what I'm saying. So imagery is really, really important to me. And in this particular case, I truly believe that poems are not just merely about witnessing, bearing witness to events that happened in our lives and trying to extract meaning there. I believe we can be as imaginative as any speculative uh, writer or, uh, or as any fiction writer. Um, I don't believe all poems need to be nonfiction is what I'm trying to say. And so this particular poem contains a bit of truth. All of us hopefully want to connect with, at least in this day and age, want to connect with live things everywhere, plants, trees, rabbits, <laughs> foxes, ingesting natural spaces is a way for us to kind of widen our humanity. So that poem was uh, fun to kind of think through. Um, I want to ingest their verdant settlements until they carpet my cavities and convert my raptorial self, thinking of dragons, into its own ecosystem off into the green. I have fun writing that poem. <laughs>